Yo, what's going on guys your boy Vismal back again with another video this is gonna be a real quick one today I'm gonna to be showing you guys two things that you can do to hopefully increase your performance within Warzone uh, these have helped me out a lot so I'm here to share that with you today we're gonna to jump right into it so right here I have this uh, command I'm gonna leave this in the description or in the comments <clears throat> go ahead and just copy this okay and then once you've copied this go to your start Go to C, type in command prompt, okay, right here, and then control V, all right, and we're going to put it in our command prompt, and then you're going to hit enter, and what this is going to do, this is going to kill all of your programs and all of your apps that are running in the background before you play, so be sure you do this before you jump into a call or into the game, be sure you do this first, and uh, your screens will go black for a quick second, but that's fine, it's going to start right back up, and this is going to kill everything in the background, and every time I do this, I usually get 15 to 20 more frames if I do this before I play so yeah be sure to do this this helps a lot uh, especially helps with frame dropping and stuff it's gonna kill everything in the background so this is a really good thing to do before you play uh, so that's the first thing and then the second thing is we're gonna go here go to your documents modern warfare players okay and then advanced options go ahead and right click this properties if it's on read only go ahead and uncheck that apply okay all right, open this up. All right, video memory scale and render worker count is what we're going to be focusing on. So your video memory scale is pretty much how much VRAM the game is going to use or how much the target is. So 0 0.9 would be 90% of your VRAM. Um, I have my, my default was 0 0.85 and I turned mine up to 0 0.9 and it helped, a, it helped a little bit. All right, and the, when, the render worker count, this is what's important. If we go to our task manager, Go ahead and open our task manager, go to performance in our CPU, look at your cores, and mine is eight, I have eight cores. So you're gonna make this, if you have eight cores, go ahead and make this number four, like I have here. And if you have six cores, go ahead and make this three. Uh, you're gonna make this half of your core count, all right? And then video memory scale, you can experiment with this. The game has to be closed for you to uh, mess with this, or for it to, for it to take effect, so. Mine was 0 0.85. I put mine at 0 0.9 and it helped. Uh, but what really helped me was the re the render worker count. So, uh, yeah, you can mess with this number. I've heard some people lowering it to 0 0.55, 0 0.6, and it's helped them a lot. Uh, some people have uh, made it to 1.0 and it's helped. Uh, I just keep mine on 0 0.9. You can experiment with this number depending on how much VRAM you have. Um, and, yeah, that should help a lot. But after you are done with those numbers, go ahead and go to File, hit Save. All right. And then make sure you go back to properties and then make this read only again be sure you do this because if it's not on read only then it's going to use the old settings so make sure that's on read only and yeah guys that's it that's all i have for you today hopefully that has helped you out and has helped any performance issues that you're having or at least made them a little bit better and yeah guys i appreciate you watching thank you for clicking the video i will see you in the next one peace